guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is food lover asian as you know sometimes it's about food or traveling or both and you can also follow me on my instagram it's also named food lover asian so i am here right now in seattle tacoma SeaTac international airport in seattle washington i just arrived and i'm about to head to seattle well you can take uber you can take public transportation but you know what uber this day is super expensive so i'm about to show you the easiest and the cheapest way to get to downtown seattle using the light rail and i'm going to show you from the get-go how to get out from the airport to the station easy peasy and it takes about 50 minutes or so so if you have not please subscribe to my channel and also give me a big like thumbs a button down below and you know what let's get to downtown seattle i'm ready let's go when you get all your luggages at the baggage claim area on the ground floor you want to look for this sign for ground transportation and you need to keep walking until the last baggage claim number which is number 16. Seattle can be super cold, especially during winter time. So I'd like to stay inside as much as I can. So I chose this route. As you can see, we need to go up the escalator to the middle floor. So we need to keep walking, going through this bridge. And at the end of the bridge, you will see the sign on top. It says light link rail. And you want to go to the left until you see this pathway. There are two options. Either you wanna walk this or you want to be lazy. Which one do you want? The first option, you can take the shuttle ride, which departs every five to 10 minutes. It goes back and forth all the time to the terminal. It is for everyone and super convenient. Okay, so I did not take the lazy options and instead I chose the second option, which is to walk the path all the way to the train station. Okay, so it is going to be quite a long path to the station. It is about 0.14 miles walk, so get ready. So I just check, it is about seven minutes walk and I burned 34 calories. Okay, is it worth it? But I guess, you know what? I need to walk, so I couldn't really complain about it. Okay, so I arrive at the station and need to turn to the right where you're going to see the kiosk to buy the actual ticket. It is located behind the large pillar on the left. When you're at the kiosk, this is what you need to do. First, you need to look at the left-hand side, tickets for today, because you have to choose your destination. And this is what the map looks like. From SeaTac Airport, it goes to whichever station you want. But since I'm going to downtown Seattle, I will choose Westlake Station. Next, you want to choose your ticket. For one-way ticket, it will cost $3 per person. And if you plan to do multiple rides today, I would recommend you to get this round trip ticket, which will cost you $6 per person. And you can go in and out anytime, all day. After we get a ticket, we wanna to turn to the right. When you see the above sign, it says link. And then we wanna to go to the left, up the escalator to the terminal where we can find and we will wait for the train. We are here finally at the terminal and the waiting area for the train. And also you want to make sure on the right hand side, which you will see the sign Seattle and Northgate bound. The train runs every 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the day and time. It starts from 5 a.m. to midnight. The train ride is roughly about 50 minutes to downtown Seattle one way and has about 12 stops. It is really spacious and also very convenient. If you have a large luggage, there's always a space where you can store them. 
Any carry-on will be so easy and there's a space to put around your seat. In case you get confused and lost, you always can look at the map on the train to see where you're at. And also look at this, there's a handle for your hand if in case there's no seats for you. So after the last stop, we are arriving here at Westlake Station. It is very nice and also it is underground and it's covered so you will not get wet if in case it's raining in Seattle. You want to go up the escalator so you want to go to the main level of the lobby. There are many exits out to downtown Seattle but usually I always like going towards the right here from the Nordstrom side because it's more convenient for some reason and also it's always easy to get out from here you want to go up and there's two escalator that you want to take and this is the last one before you actually having it to the lobby and here we are finally we arrive in downtown seattle yes the beautiful seattle downtown and it's wonderful it's not raining it's not cold but it's not warm either so make sure you always always have a jacket ready okay guys that's it i made it to downtown seattle yes only 50 minutes either three dollars or six dollars yes one way or multiple ways but anyway it's the cheapest way if you want to take uber sure it's easy convenient but guess what you know this is cheap and you made it safe and sound very comfortable so anyway thank you again for watching this video hopefully this is very useful for you and whenever you come to seattle you can use this information if you have not please subscribe to my channel and also give me a big 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 thumbs like and also leave a comment down below until then thank you again for watching sampai jumpa lagi bye